So let's go over the basics of cooking and what tools you're gonna need to prepare your meals successfully. So before you can prepare meals, you're gonna need some basic cooking tools. And you can buy these at any grocery store, department store, tag sale, flea market, any dollar store. They're pretty much readily available um, at a wide variety of different stores. So some examples of these are a frying pan. We have some mixing bowls, measuring cups, measuring spoons. We have some serving spoons like a ladle or a spatula. And then we have a colander and then cookie sheets and then also pot holders so that when you take things out of the oven or need to hold something that's very hot, you have that barrier so you don't burn yourself. So also when making meals, you want to make sure you have some basic food items. So we call these staple foods. So staple foods can be stored in your cupboard for longer amounts of time um, and also with less of a chance of spoiling. So some examples of basic foods are spices and herbs. So you have your cinnamon, uh, salt and pepper, um, rosemary, thyme, those kinds of things. Bouillon cubes are great too. Um, you can add that to water just to flavor up any soup that you want to make or some type of marinade. Um, breadcrumbs, crackers, uh, dried fruits, canned vegetables, canned fruits, things like that. So when preparing your meals, it's important to also follow uh, basic food safety tips. So you want to wash your hands thoroughly. You also want to wash surface, surfaces like cutting boards um, and utensils in between cooking different food items. So for example, you would want to you know, wipe down your cutting board before or after cutting meat and then switch into your vegetables or vice versa. And that will avoid contamination. Um, you don't want to wash your meat before cooking. That can actually spread bacteria to surfaces, so we really don't recommend that. Um, and then keep your hair tied back. You know, no one likes to find hair in their food. I, I feel like we've all been there before. Um, so make sure, tie it up if it's as long as mine or whatever the case may be. Um, so having these basic tools and staple foods, they're gonna come in handy. Um, if there was ever a crisis or a food shortage, um, and that was a major issue, these items would come in handy. Um, and you can also create a wide variety of different meals with these. Um, and they're, they have the necessary vitamins and minerals that your body needs to proper functioning. So cooking can be fun. Uh, it can be enjoyable when you have the basic uh, tools and staple foods at home. You know, it's have fun with it. Be creative. Um, and then be creative with also building your kitchen pantry. So thanks for watching today.